in my back room. So this isn't craft related, but I heard about laundry stripping late last year and I've been completely fascinated by it. And so I thought today I would try it and show you guys what it looks like. Has anyone ever heard of laundry stripping? I had never heard of it. And then someone in the Facebook moms group that I'm in posted about it and that got me really intrigued. So I did some research and it's basically where you do a long soak of like your towels and your linens and stuff. And the idea is that it pulls out all this built-in residue that you apparently have in your towels if you do um, several things, which I am guilty of. You, if you overload your washing machine, if you use fabric or no, scent boosters, if you use fabric softener, if you use um, dryer sheets, all those things leaves a residue on your um, fabric, but I mean, it's supposed to, that's what makes it soft and that's what makes it smells good. But I guess apparently it does build up over time and you don't really have to do laundry stripping, I guess, if you don't do any of those things, but honestly, I'm not gonna stop using dryer sheets. So <laughs> here we are. And so what you need for laundry stripping is um, washing soda, borax powder, and powder detergent. And you use it in a one to one to two ratio. I already have it here in this bowl. I mixed it up already. It's not completely dissolved because my bowl's not big enough, but I didn't want to be adding this to the tub while it's filling up and end up with a bathroom full of suds. So here you go. Added the solution and then you throw your clean towels, has to be clean, in here. Oh, and first the, the tub's full of hot water too. Did I mention that? I probably didn't. Sorry, it's all over the place. So, bathtub full of hot water. You get washing soda, borax powder, powder detergent. Mix it up in one to one to two ratio. This is a bigger tub, so I did half a cup each of washing soda and borax powder and one cup of detergent. I think if you have a smaller tub, you can do quarter cup each of the soda and borax and then half a cup of detergent and you should be fine. So there you go. I got my mixture here and then I got all my clean towels. These look wet because I just washed them and pulled them out of the washing machine. Um, some notes um, while I'm putting this in here. The idea is that after soaking for about four to six hours, you're gonna end up with really clean towels and a tub full of gray water. And you know, there's probably some residue or a lot of residue in that gray water, but you're gonna have to realize that there's probably dye in there too because you are soaking in hot water for like hours. So some dye is definitely gonna be coming out. You, um, you should probably keep in mind that since it is soaking in hot water, you should probably sort the things you're gonna laundry strip the same way you would sort laundry. So whites only, darks only, and color. And I know I have some light colored towels I'm throwing in here with everything else, but honestly, these towels are at least four years old, so. I'm not worried about it if it does get some color on it. And um, that's just a risk I'm gonna take. But anyways, so here it is. I'm gonna add this all to the bathtub, give it a good swish, let it soak for four to six hours or at least until the water turns cold. And then I'll come back. All right, guys? So here it is, laundry stripping. Hey guys, it's me. Okay, so these are the towels um, four hours later. Water looks a little dingy, but it's not as bad as I thought. Um, water's still warm, and they said to soak this until the water goes cold, 
So um, maybe another couple more hours, who knows? But anyways, um, once the water is cold, I'll probably wring it all out and then you can see what it really looks like. Um, about every hour or so, I've been coming in here and kind of moving the towels around just to agitate it a little bit. I tried stirring it with my son's lacrosse stick <laughs> and that was actually really hard because <laughs> wet towels are heavy. And then you gotta be careful not to slosh water out in the tub. So I just felt it easier to move it around with my hands and stir it up a little bit about every hour or so. The only problem is that does, water feels a little slimy. That's probably the detergent and the residue and whatever else. But I think the borax probably contributes to it. Isn't that like a ingredient for slime? But anyways, um, yep. So the next video, you'll just see what this water looks like after it's been completely stripped, I guess. All right, talk to you later. Bye. Hey guys. Okay, so it's been about seven and a half hours that these towels have been soaking in this water. It's still a little warm, but I'm gonna start wringing these out and getting them into the wash because my family needs towels tonight. Um, I think at this point they're gonna be, they're getting as clean as they are ever going to be. So what you do after this is that you wring them out, you put them through the um, washing machine, through a cycle, no soap, because obviously it's been soaking in soap for hours, and then into the dryer. And that's it for laundry stripping. So I'm gonna get these wrung out and I'll come back and show you what the water looks like without all these towels sitting in here so we can see how murky it really is. All right, okay, I'll be back. Hey everyone, I'm back and I pulled out all the towels, wrung them out and had to do two different loads in my washing machine, but they're going now. And remember, when you put in the washing machine, no soap, but here it is, here's the water and it is a pretty murky gray, you know, which is oddly satisfying and um yeah I get it some of it it could be dye it's possibly dye I mean it was soaking in hot water for hours but I have pretty old towels I mean at least three to four years old so I don't know if there's much more dye left for it to eke out but possibly but but remember I started with a clean bathtub clean water clean towels and this is the end result so um, strangely satisfying, at least for me. It's almost like watching the pimple popper. <laughs> Anyways, um, a couple more takeaways with this. Um, it is a pain in the butt to wring out all those towels. So be prepared. It is, this has been a very time consuming process. I mean, I started in the morning. It is now 1040 PM and I'm just finishing up. I still got a couple loads that I need to do and fold up the towels and put them away. Also, um, all the research I've done, they don't necessarily recommend you doing this to your clothes, but this process is really helpful in removing those lingering odors that you can't get out. And usually laundry stripping would be the best way to do it. So you know what? Use your discretion. It is your clothes. It's what you wanna do with them. And also keep in mind that it will be soaking in very hot water. So make sure that it's something that can withstand um, that sort of, you know, um, cleaning procedure. This is also a once in a while deep cleaning method. So it's not something that you got to do all the, all the time, which thankfully it shouldn't be because like I said, it's extremely time consuming. And then also, I don't know if you can see my hands. They are, is it focusing, sorry, very red and very irritated. And I am not one who is usually very sensitive to um, dyes or perfumes or heavy detergents, but you know, I was dipping my hands in this um, solution all day long. Um, and, you know, I guess it would make sense. It was bound to get irritated. So if you are worried about that, 
gloves probably wouldn't be a bad idea. But anyway, so here it is. Here's the end result of our laundry stripping um, experiment. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you made it this long into the video, thank you so much. And if you enjoyed it, please consider giving me a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. I don't normally do little household things like this. I'm more a crafty person, but you never know. So anyways, you guys have a great night and I will talk to you later. Bye now.